recording. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? It's your boy ZTV. Back with a video. And I'm just gonna uh, be a have a responsibility to FedEx Fearless. And this is not something to tear the brother down or nothing like that. But this is just some two things I disagree with in his videos. For one, I disagree with the Instagram video. You should never try to tell men to um, get uh, women off of Instagram. You're not gonna be able to do that. And I'm gonna tell you why. And the second thing I'm gonna uh, I disagree with is the video games. Saying uh, video games should be for little kids only. Grown men should be playing video games and make us look like a child. But what type of response is that? Like, why would you do a video on that? Like, bro, it's it's men that are in their 30s. And, there's men that's in their 40s and 50s that play video games. That don't mean nothing. This is why I don't. I, I, I'm not agreeing with that. Now, FedEx, he has some good videos, and this and this is gonna be towards everybody that watches stuff. All his subscribers, right? And FedEx, I hope he's watching this video, because this is not something to tear this brother down. But this is just advice, and you gotta know how to word your videos because it, you, your videos could come off as being arrogant. Listen, man, if you somebody who plays video games, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Saying a, a, a grown man that plays video games is like a 10-year-old child is like saying Snoop Dogg is a 10-year-old for playing Madden. Bro, Snoop Dogg has been in the game for over 20 years. Make plenty of money doing way better than FedEx. Matter of fact, when Snoop Dogg was first um, rapping, a FedEx was probably wasn't even born. Now, I don't know how old he is, but me, I'm in my 30s. So as you get older, you become a lot more wiser. And you start thinking with a lot more logic. There's nothing wrong with a grown man playing video games. See, I'm somebody who plays video games, too. I love my video games. I play PlayStation, Xbox, you name it. I love my Call of Duty. I like my Madden. I like my 2K. I like my Mortal Kombat. But to me, I'm a man who also sets his priorities first. Right? I'm going to get my... I'm all about taking care of my business. My needs come before my wants. And that's how my mom taught me. That you can play video games and still have a very successful life. So, David's got some big dogs over here. Love them. But yeah, yeah, you can still be successful and have and play, play be playing video games. There's plenty of people out here playing video games. And not just the ones that make money neither. There are people who live stream but still got their jobs. Me, I work in the medical field making well over 20 an hour. I, 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 my finances is in order. Okay? I'm getting ready to graduate tomorrow with my associate's degree in biblical studies. Yeah, I know the Bible. Now I got God in my life. I love video games just as, as much as the next person. Plus, there's some men that play video games so they can uh, have fun with their children, their kids. See, FedEx is somebody that don't got no family. He don't got no kids. He don't got no, uh, no children like that. He don't got no nieces and nephews coming to his house. Right? This is somebody that's living a single life. This is not somebody that's married and got family. I got children myself. I got two. Okay? So Y'all got to understand this. This video is not for everybody. For the men watching this video. FedEx videos is mostly primarily geared towards you just getting laid. Just getting pussy. Okay? And I'm a man of God. I'm going to try to keep it clean, but I'm going to keep it real at the same time. Because I'm a realist. You know, I'm in the real world, man. Everything, the type of women that Fearlack, FedEx Fearless is used to getting, you're not going to get. Because it sounds like he's pulling a lot of gold diggers. He keep calling himself a high-value man, but every high-value woman not going to go for his type. That's another thing. And I don't understand how you can say that, that men shouldn't be playing video games when there's women that's in their 20s playing video games. See, man, there, there's something for everybody. There are women who didn't, wouldn't mind a man playing video games. As long as they spend their time with them. Because everybody got they, the things they do for fun to pass up the time. Again, there's many men out here that are successful making plenty of money that play video games. Because that's the case, FedEx. What about, this is what I don't understand about them. What about the military men? Who come home from being in service that's playing video games. What about them? All these athletes whose likeness and image is in these video games and they want to play as themselves. What about them? You see, he's not wording that correctly, man. That comes off as just being offensive. And it's condescending at the same time. It's disingenuous. It's like it's not making it's like, come on now, bro. Like that's like that's disheartening. That's like that's not that's not logical. FedEx though damn well he got people in his family playing video games that he'll never insult to his face. That man got uncles, got aunties, right? That man got homies that's playing video games. He ain't gonna tell them, he ain't gonna tell them they're a little kid. I guarantee that. The homies that FedEx feels those as friends with that play video games, he's he'll never say this to them. 
right? You can't be doing that. That's almost contradictory. No, don't let FedEx Fearless make you feel bad about playing video games. If you want to create an avatar character, go ahead. There are people on YouTube right now that's making video game characters that they just do that as they are. They ain't, that's not even their main job. They got their main job. They just do that for fun. And they block doing video games. There's nothing wrong with that. I've gotten plenty of women playing video games. When I was in um, during COVID-19, right? And see, you forget this, man. People had nothing to do but be at home all day. You couldn't go outside. You couldn't do nothing. So what, what else would they, they do during COVID? I was playing video games all throughout COVID, talking to a chick, man. That didn't stop me. This is why I don't agree with him. Some of his videos come up as just too harsh. Again, you got to word it correctly. Now, Phoenix is talking to the men that's just lazy, not doing nothing. That's what he needs to word it. Then that's when you mention them playing video games is bad. Me, I don't just play video games all day. I take care of my priorities. As you should do the same. Nothing wrong with playing video games. Video games is how I connect with my friends. Video games is how I can play my, my family that's in another state. My brother who stays in, one of my little brothers stay in Arizona. My other older brother that stays in Vegas. I got, I got family from all over, man. I can't see them every day. So video games is a way for me to connect with them online. Right? You got that going on. All these athletes playing video games. Michael B. Jordan plays Marvel vs. Capcom too. He said that's his favorite game of all time. Right, won't you say little uh, Michael B. Jordan's like a kid? And then you got Anthony Mackie that just did Twisted Metal, the TV series. He's filming season two as we speak. He grew up playing Twisted Metal. And Twisted Metal Black was his favorite Twisted Metal of all time. That's a video game, right? Won't you talk about Anthony Mackie and his co-star Stephanie Beatrice? Won't you talk about Samoa Joe, who's um, playing the um, character Sweet Tooth? He plays video games too. Like, FedEx, I feel he, he did that wrong, man. He did that completely wrong. He has two videos. And then video games don't make you a nerd. First of all, nerds, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. I'm going to say that off the top. That tells me Fiddix was a person that was bullying, bullying kids, bullying people when he was uh, growing up. There's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Because nerds, like the Steve Urkels of the world, the smart guys like Taj Mari's character on Dizzy, those people are the ones that's changing the world. Those are the ones you see building their technology like the iPhone. Like Steve Jobs and uh, Bill Gates, those are nerds. These Jewish ones, these nerds, yeah, they're the ones who own these banks. And Karis One said it on a video I posted on TikTok. These ba these bankers like J.P. Morgan, those are nerds. Yeah, yeah, Chase Morgan, Wells Fargo, the CEO of these banks, they, they're, they're, they're most likely nerds. There are some politicians that are nerds. Look at Barack Obama. Was he a nerd growing up? George W. Bush, like, come on, man, like, you, you got to stop that. If you want to play a video game character, go ahead. Do what you feel, you, 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 you do what you want to do, do what you love to do. Don't let somebody like FedEx make you feel bad about doing something that you like to do. See, FedEx Fearless videos are towards people who got low self-esteem. Me, I'm confident in myself, and I'm an ex-crip. I'm an ex-gangster from Long Beach, but God turned my life around completely. And see, video games are another way to keep people out of trouble, too. Yeah, the only thing, the only time it's bad playing video games is if you ain't got nothing else going on with your life and you just at home all day. Yeah, then that's bad. But if you're somebody like myself and you got a job, a good one, you got your benefits, you getting your education like I've been doing, right? There's nothing wrong with that. People play games FedEx to pass the time too. I'm not finna just be playing dominoes and playing poker. That ain't my games. I mean, I play dominoes to get me wrong, and I'm a chess player myself, but. Video games is what I like to play. That's my enjoyment. You know what I mean? The video game tournaments people be in, man. The people that go to Comic-Con, right? There's nothing wrong with that. You could get... There's plenty of females that's in the video gaming too, but he ain't going to tell you that. For this, I'm going to tell you, there are girls who are also playing video games that's in their 20s and 30s. People who are mothers that's playing video games with their children. He's not going to tell you that. Again, there are men like my stepfather, Ronald. This man bought me everything I ever wanted. He did wave more for me than my real dad did that man bought me my aunt bought me all of my aunt when i had the playstation one growing up as a child he bought me all my video games had me as the popular kid in at, at the neighborhood everybody would come over my house on friday nights but even he still played video games me and him's favorite video games is twisted metal and vigilante primarily it's twisted metal that's what got me into the series but he he'll play it every now and then he still plays his ps2 when i come to his house in mississippi with my mom's like, come on, man. We, we got to cut. FedEx, FedEx has to cut that out. 
Because again, he got all those subscribers get to his head. He start getting too cocky and prideful. I guarantee you, FedEx Fearless was probably playing video games too before he made his YouTube video or YouTube channel. I'll tell you, that man got cousins, he got family that's playing video games. There are adults that's over the age of 18 and he'll never insult, he'll never call them a little kid to their face. So if FedEx and Fearless ain't gonna, ain't gonna say that about his own homies, say that about his own family, don't say that towards everybody who's watching your videos. Yeah, that's where everybody's watching it. Don't make him feel bad about doing it. Like I told you, you got Snoop Dogg, you got all these celebrities that play video games. That's making way more money than FedEx. Got way more cars, bigger house than he does. Doing way better than him. Okay? And look at me, I'm in it. I'm on my way to the gym now. Look at that. I looks good. Let me see a close up. Look at that, man, right? I look good. I'm in shape. I'm headed to the gym now. Nothing wrong with that. Now, let me get to number two. Instagram. Do not get no women off of Instagram. That's the wrong way to do it. Because, to be honest with y'all, man, Instagram has getting hacked over the last two years. Ever since we started getting them stimulus checks, right? These hackers think that America is rich. You look at all the money that Biden is sending on to Ukraine. So they think we rich. We think, they think we gullible. There's a lot of women's accounts that are getting hacked. Those are not real accounts. So you got to be careful with that. You going to mess around here and get caught into a scam. They want you to send money and all that other stuff, like romance scam and all this other. They promise you things they know they ain't going to do for you. Don't do that. If you want to get women online, you do online dating. There's plenty of fish, which is POF. I've done that and had, I'm going on at least about seven dates on there. I've talked to plenty of women on there. There's POF, there's Bumble. And Bumble is when you swipe and the woman chews you in Hinge. That's another one. I've got my ex. The last ex I've been with was for Sharon Jenkins off of Hinge. That actually worked. Excuse me, it wasn't even, I think it was, no, it wasn't even Hinge. It was Bumble. Yeah, I got my, uh, my ex, uh, Sharon Jenkins, so I was with it for a year off of Bumble. That actually worked. No, if you yeah, if you want to do online dating, man, go on there. Go go yeah, go do that. And see, this is what I do, right? If I do DM a woman, it's because I know her personally. See, I meet girls outside of social media. I don't go on there. I don't use my social media to get women. My a lot of my posts are stuff that people need to hear. I post about real stuff. I post about factual stuff that make you think. I don't care about getting women. I don't care about views. And another thing, I don't like what FedEx is doing. Before I continue. Bro, don't get somebody to um, be like you. Don't, don't, don't copy FedEx. Because, again, everybody's not going to live his lifestyle. You're not going to make the money he's making. No, do you. Be you, man. Don't let another man tell you to do what he's doing. That's, that's not helping somebody because everybody's not going to have the same personality as FedEx. Every man is, is different. Again, and this is game here. It's real talk, real facts. No, man, the, uh, Instagram, somebody DM, you're not going to get no women in, D, uh, in no DM because every woman on there that you talk to may not even live in your state or your city. That's another thing. Nobody wants to be in no loneliness relationship. That don't work. And now me personally, man, it's like if you want to do that, then you might as well be uh, trying to uh, hook up with um, gold diggers. To be very honest, Instagram models, because nine times a ten, most Instagram models are gold diggers anyway. See, those are the type of women that FedEx is probably attracting. Right, he he got all that money. He make he, he's making he's doing good in his business, so he could he could he could talk like that. But everybody's not gonna be on that level, y'all. I'm just be honest. You're not gonna be on his level. No, be yourself. You like dogs? Post about dogs. There's women that like dogs and cats. Right? There's something there's something for everybody. No, if you are gonna pick up women, this what this what I do. Right? I go outside of my, uh, I go out there in the world and I, and I talk to women wherever I go. Cause you know I'm still a bachelor man. I'm I'm not trying to be a small because see me. I'm 33 years old, so I'm trying to get married. My mindset not like his at all. I don't, I'm not trying to get just laid. I want me a wife. I want to get married. I want to find somebody that I can just wake up to every day and be happy. I'm not trying to smash different women. I've done that already in my 20s. Yeah, I said, I'm 33 years old. I was born in 1990. Now, FedEx is, coming, is talking like somebody that's, in a, that's 25, that's in between 24 and maybe 27, 28. You're talking about somebody that's in his 20s. You know, that's what they be doing. Me, I'm on a different level. Me, I'm all I'm all about building my credit score investment, and I'm all about trying to put our money together. Let's get us a house, that type of stuff. I, I just want I just want one woman. I'm, I'm tired. I've done all that other stuff, you know. And I'm somebody who worked in the entertainment industry as a manager and as a model and an actor, which I still do my acting and modeling now. But I do it for my church, my ministry. I'm not in the world like that no more, not like I used to. And I, I manage artists here and there. You know, so I still manage. You know, some uh, my brother's music. 
But I'm saying that to say this, like, I've done all that other stuff, man. It's just not, first of all, y'all, you're not going to really get no true satisfaction just getting laid all the time. It's not all about attraction. Yeah, you want to look presentable, you want to look good, but what's going to get women to like you is your personality. What's going to get women to like you is what you got going on for yourself, your goals. You got you got goals. Are you is, is there things you got going on in your life? That's what gonna get a woman to like you. You can wake a woman laugh and all that. That's what's gonna get her to like you. No, Felix is coming from somebody that just want pussy, man. That's trying to get. That's trying to just smash. His videos are not for people that's trying to build a long term relationship. I'm gonna tell you that now, cause this is the same Felix that on one video he admit to having an side chick cheats on his main. He cheats on his main girl. He said he got a main girl, but he got side pieces that he smashed. He just he really said that on camera. I'm like, man, why would you admit to, like, doing that? If you're going to have a main chick, don't have no side chick. Because then what are you doing that for? The main chick is for you to build something and get married and build up to marriage. Right? That's what that is. No, FedEx videos, FedEx Fearless videos ain't for everybody. It's really not. His videos are, are mostly geared towards men who ain't trying to get married. Don't want nothing serious. I'm just going to be flat and honest. No, DM, you know, Instagram, no, no, that's wrong. Nobody's really getting women on Instagram no more. If I do DM a woman, for one, I'm going to meet her first. This is how you use Instagram. You meet her first, then you get the DMs, and you talk to her from there. Because I don't just get numbers. I don't get phone numbers no more. I don't. Because a woman can give you a number, but it could be a fake number. I'm going to be honest. If a girl don't like it, she's going to give you a fake number. I don't ask for a girl's number off the top. I ask for social media. Then when we talking and we and it's going good, then I get the, the number from the DM because I know I could trust her. That's how I get phone numbers. I used to do that the same on social media when I was on POF. I talked to them, then I asked for their Instagram when things are going well. Then we did I get the number of their own. You gotta know how to do things. Everybody's different. I'm gonna tell you that now. But see, FedEx feel because he's big and buff. He buffed like a like a, a bodybuilder. He he got all this going for him. That's going to work for everybody. That's not. And some people don't got time to be doing all that. Um, and that's another thing, too, what I don't like about Fit Experience. I'm not going to change my jawline. You see me? I'm comfortable how I look. You see my hairline? If your barber did a bad job on your hairline, go to another barber. And don't knock barbers. Fit Experience, some of his videos is knocking other people. Putting other people down. Like, you can't be doing that. I understand what he's doing. Again, he has some great, he has some good advice to a certain extent, but... Some of it is, is, is coming off way too cocky. Listen, do not change your jawline. Don't do all, put all this extra stuff in your hairline because looks is only skin deep. As you get older, your looks gonna change. I'm not gonna look this way um, 25 years from now. Because when you get older, your skin starts getting wrinkled. Your body starts deteriorating. When you get up to your senior, when you get in between your 50s and 70, uh, 70 something years old, your body gonna change. See, FedEx is doing all this jaw stuff now, this jawline stuff, trying to change this stuff to try to look impressive. And that's not even, like, some women ain't going to be liking that either. Because and then I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing, a woman that's not going to like. And I learned this a long time ago with one of my mom's friends. Her name was Jennifer. Jennifer don't like no man that's in the mirror longer than her. And matter of fact, there was some um, women that, that responded to FedEx Fearless. And they said, a man that spends more time, just as much time as the mirror as them is unattractive. To do what FedEx be finished doing with your jawline, your hair, and all that other stuff, you're going to be spending 30 minutes in the mirror. The only time I spend more extra time in the mirror is on my hair, If I got, because I'll be twisting it. I'm in the process of getting this braided pretty soon. My hair is getting long. But yeah, man, I don't like spending a whole lot of time in the mirror. I don't like spending a whole lot of hour. Doing what FedEx Fitness is doing, you're going to be spending over an hour in that mirror. You're going to go from 30 minutes to 60 minutes in that mirror, in that bathroom, trying to get yourself up. No, don't do that, man. Don't change your jawline. Don't do this to your hairline, putting all this other stuff, man. Because next thing Fit Fear is going to do, he's going to be putting makeup on next. Next, he's going to be getting his nose done. He's going to be getting his cheeks done. He's going to be doing what Michael Jackson used to do. Don't do that. Don't change what God gave you. It's not going to help you neither. Because then you being, you're not being real with yourself. Like Even with women, right? I understand women want to get their body done, their booty done. But to start changing the alternate face, uh-uh, no. Because as you get older, that stuff going to show. And there was another man. I think his name is Captain Blackman or something like that. It's another YouTuber that even said that he don't, wanna, he don't get why uh, Fitx Fears got men lying about their finances. Just to get women. Just to get like, just to get, the, get them in bed. Get the panties. All right? There's, there's YouTubers. There's a couple YouTubers that respond to Fitx. Because some of his videos started to be debatable. 
But no, don't do Instagram, y'all. Don't. If I'm on Instagram, I'm not on Instagram to pull no women. That's just me, cause me, I, I got businesses. I got a production team. I got a ministry. You know, I'm going to school to be a pastor. I'm getting my A degree. I'm going to be getting my bachelor's degree pretty soon. If I post something on Instagram, it's because something is achievement. It's a post my family groups, me dealing with kids, dealing with men in my family groups, me going evangelizing, something like that, me um, winning people over to my God. That's what I use my Instagram for. I, or I may post about sports, like my Cowboys and my Clippers. You know, I may, or I may post like something about family or something like that. Like, for example, when I graduate, I'll be posting my graduation pictures. I'll be posting my speech. Because I'm basically like the valedictorian of my class. Yeah, I'm that smart. And I'm not trying to say that to brag, but again, I've gotten women, honestly, y'all, just having a friendship, just being able to talk. It's not all about looks. That's what FedEx Fearless needs to understand. It's not all about trying to look good, trying to look presentable, trying to look, work on your face. That's not what's going to get you women. Because every woman got a preference. I'm going to tell you something FedEx Fearless is also not going to tell you. That every woman got a preference like men got preferences. There are men, believe it or not, that like chubby, fat men. Men who look, who look like Biggie Smalls or Big Punisher. Rest in peace. For you young folks, you know who, um, you know who Punisher is. He was just like Big, but bigger. But he raps faster than Biggie. Puerto Rican. He used to hang with Fat Joe. You can look that up. Right? There are men, there are women out here that like men that got some fat on them. They don't like no skinny men. There are also some women that will find FedEx Fearless unattractive because he got too much muscle. He's got too much going on. They don't want that. That's another thing he's not going to tell you. You're not going to get every woman out there. You're just not. And furthermore, man, you could look like FedEx Fearless, but be a to your attitude could be horrible. And, and FedEx Fearless comes off as that on some of his videos. He could come off as being somebody that's very abusive in the relationship. Okay, there's a, there's a YouTuber I'm going to post on this video. I'm going to post a link, and you'll see another person responding to him. You'll see what I'm talking about. I see what that, that other brother is, is saying about FedEx. FedEx attitude could come off as being somebody that's abusive in a relationship. Like, very, like, arrogant. Like, he don't, he don't know how to listen to somebody. And I'm not saying he's like that, but that's how he comes off as. On these videos, you can see his personality. He comes off as somebody that's straightforward, and he'll get on your nerves. He'll get into an argument real quickly. Because I'm not about to lie about, my, I'm not going to do extra stuff just to lie about myself. I'm not to lie about no one. I'm going to keep it real with somebody. Again, y'all, keep it real with yourself. Everybody can't be fit act fearless. That's just not reality. And every man not going to have all day to be in no gym like that neither, looking like that. Now, again, there's some women that find bodybuilders unattractive. I'm just going to be quite honest with you, man. There's some men, there's some women that don't, ain't going to be going for his type. He, he, he himself not going to get every woman. He ain't going to tell you that neither. I guarantee you fit act fearless have probably been turned down. Multiple times, look at the way he looks now. And me, man, like, me having God, I'm like, I'm, I, I let God choose my wife. I let God choose my woman. You know, it's all about conversations. It's all about knowing how to talk to women. Just talk to them regularly. You'll find out. You know, it's all about building a friendship first. This ain't all about getting into the, the bedroom. Yeah, you can have sex and all that other stuff, but then what you gonna do next? And then what if you fall in love with them, but they not even in love with you? See, that 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 goes a long way too, man. That's something you y'all need to think about. It's not all about trying to get in that bedroom. It's really not. It's all about establishing an actual like connection. But again, I feel FedEx fearless in his videos needs to be needs to be more. Uh, he needs to word his. Uh, he needs to do his words correctly, man. No, assault men for playing video games, that's not the way to go by things because then people start questioning him and his own, his own motives. Because sometimes people do things for um, attention. They do things for those views. Because, again, I don't got time to be in the mirror. Don't get me wrong. I like to clean myself. Like, even tonight, I'm going to shave. I'm going to do what I do. But I'm not going to be changing my jawline. I'm not going to be putting stuff in my hair to try to fix my hairline. Cause my hairline, because for what? Again, man, be, comf be comfortable with who you are. Be Happy with yourself. That's what matters. Yeah, don't let somebody like Fed Fearless make you feel bad about playing video games when most of the men do it. You can look at the percentage online. You can Google the percentage of men, grown men, adults who play video games. It's very high. Fed Fearless is not going to tell you these things because he's not in that type of um, reality. Now, you can play video games and still be getting women. There are girls that play video games with you because they play them too. I know plenty of them. Yeah, that's another thing, man. How you going to knock people, for, men for playing video games when there's women playing video games too? And, and again, man, I'm going to say this. If you play video games, again, have something else going for you. 
But you can, there's people that play video games, like, like you said, that's making a lot of money. And they play it professionally. But if you want to play an avatar character because you do it for fun and that's what you like to do, go ahead. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Again, I don't understand that. And then playing video games don't make you a nerd neither. When you got gangsters, people that's in the streets making real money, making paper, like they, 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 they involved in what they do. They are also playing video games on a leisure time. Like on Power, right? Those that watch Power, when um, with Tommy and um, Tommy and um, Saint Patrick, yeah, Jamie Saint Patrick, they were playing video games too on those um, on that show, on a couple of those episodes, right? He ain't gonna mention that neither. That's that. That's just to me, I understand, and that's just ignorant. And my thing is, man, I'm not gonna copy another how another man does his social media. I'm not gonna do that because I'm confident with myself. I'm gonna do me. Again, I'm just letting you know that now. The more of it, do you. But FedEx Fearless, that's not going to work for everybody. I'm sorry, man. Everybody not going to look like him either. Because me, I'm lifting weights, and I'm bulking up, and I don't look like FedEx at all. You can tell the ones who do steroids, who juice. Because FedEx Fearless, if he's juicing, he ain't going to tell you that. For him to look like that, you got to be really like, again, you got to be taking supplements. You got to be doing something. That's not natural he's doing it. He's taking some stuff to look to get up to that level to where he looks like. But everybody not going to have the same body shape either. Yeah, I'm around 5'7", five, 5'8", five, myself, but I don't look like that. But no, man, it's easy to get women. It's not hard. It's all about talk. You know how to talk, man? There are women, there's men who look uglier than him, who don't got none of that stuff that's getting women. Matter of fact, there are men who got a full beard, full goatee that look like James Harden that get women. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something else, too. And FedEx Field is not going to elaborate on this. It's all about money. You get more women getting money. I'm going to tell you something. It's a movie I watched with, um, it was Chris Rock did a long time ago. And him and Kerry Hilson. And Chris Rock was going through problems with his um, wife in the movie. And he wanted to start messing around with his best friend, which was Kerry Hilson. And in that movie, he was kind of in hot water with his, with his firm, with, with the company, his corporation, because he was a corporate guy. And Chris Rock's boss told him this in the movie. I'm going I'm to tell you some words that Fedex Fear is probably not going to tell you. You will lose money chasing women, but you'll never lose women chasing money. I'm going to say that one more time. You'll lose money chasing women, but you'll never lose women chasing money. If you chase out the bag, you won't get women nine times out of ten. Women are attracted to success. Okay? This is what Fit Experience is not going to tell you, man. And I'm just going to tell you this because I love you and, I, and I'm real with you. Go after the bag. Be successful. Okay? If you chase it out the bag and you're getting money, that's going to attract women because they see you have a... Women like stability. Finan they're attracted to financial stability. So you financially stable in your life, and you getting a job with benefits, you working hard out here, that's what women are more attractive to. It ain't all about your looks. I'm going to just tell you that now, man. Because for that fears, get turned down too. It's, every woman ain't going for that look. That bodybuilder look, they not, they're all women, big old muscles. Some women don't like that. I'm just going to be very honest with y'all, man. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Some of his videos are not in reality at all, man. And everybody not going to be like him. Chase money. Once you chase the bag, then you women will start gravitating to you because you, you're focused on your goals. You're achieving something. That's what I've been doing. And I get plenty of women that like me. Even at my church, I'm around women all the time. So it's like, there's no need for me to be doing on that. And I've cracked more women offline than I do on Instagram. I don't, like I said, I don't use my Instagram to crack women. That's the wrong way of doing it. Go out there and go talk to somebody. That's what he should be telling people to focus on. No, so whoever, whoever asked them about getting women on Instagram, I'm going to tell you myself, don't do it. If you're going to use Instagram, again, it's your personal blog. It's your social media. Post what you want to post on it. Don't tell, don't let FedEx feelers make you feel bad about posting some stuff. That you did when you was a kid. Don't know. That's another thing I don't like, man. Fix feelers can't make nobody do something they don't, they don't feel comfortable doing. No, because that's not what's going to get women. There are some women that like men that are sentimental. That come with sentimental value. Because they want to know your life. They want to know who, who is this person. Because let's say if you're in a relationship, you're going to have to share these things with them anyway. So, I'm, so again, I'm going to tell you some things Fix feelers is not going to tell you. Because I've gone on plenty of dates. You ain't playing video games, but having a job. Having a career. No, be focused on yourself. Chase the bag. Do you, man. Chase your career. Then you'll get women easily. No, go out here and go conversate. Go out here and go talk to somebody. Right? That's all you got to do. Because you understand, there are men and women that are both shy. Okay? 
That's what FedEx Fears got to understand. There are some men out here that are shy. They don't have the confidence to, to um, talk to women like that. But if you're going to go on Instagram to try to get women, go on an online dating site. There's plenty of them. There's plenty. Okay? It, 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 won't, it won't take a genius to understand that. No, but the problem with FedEx Fears, he wants people to do what he's doing because he's, trying to, he's promoting himself. That's all it is. He's trying to get more followers on his Instagram. You know what he's doing. But see, I'm somebody who reads between the lines, man. I know how to... I know how to see into things. Now, I know how to psychology look into somebody and read them. No, um, what Felix Fears is doing, he's trying to get them DMs. He's trying to get more DM, more Instagram traffic. That's all he's doing. He's promoting his own self. But that does not, that's not going to work for everybody. But yeah, you do what I just told y'all, man. Y'all going to be just fine. But uh, with Felix Fears, I guarantee he's going to tell Snoop Dogg to his face that he a little kid. He ain't going to do that. And there's plenty of people like Snoop Dogg that's around his age playing video games. Method Man plays video games. There's, there's plenty of people out here playing video games that's doing just as good or better than him. But, y'all, that's the video, man. And, again, to feed experience, again, brother, I don't, this is not no beef or nothing like that. But, again, some of your videos need to get changed. You need to edit some of that stuff. You need to watch what you're saying on your videos because you can come off as offending somebody when you're not trying. Some of your videos could come off as being real arrogant. And you need to word it wrong because every woman is different. Every man is different. Everybody's not going to be the same out here. And you're not going to attract every woman out there. Doing what you're doing is not going to get every woman. It's just not, right? And if you want pussy that bad, again, it's easier ways to do it. But trying to change, trying to look like you look is not going to always get you women. But that's it, man. No beef. I ain't mad at you or nothing like that. I'm not a hater. This is just my opinion. Take care.